Good morning, everyone. I'm funny family Halloween costume shirt, Ice and Baby Ian. For today, we're going to be trying a few delicious frozen breakfast meals. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, so. Normally when I film a video, I do it in the late afternoon, early evening time. That's usually when I got most of my energy going. But today, since we're doing a breakfast video, I thought it would be fun to film immediately after waking up because that's normally when I should be having breakfast. Um, I already regret this decision, so let's get started. Before I go any further, I have to get coffee. So come on, let's get some coffee. Some people aren't gonna be too happy with my decision, uh, but I'm still a Folgers man. Gotta have some Folgers in the morning. Okay, so before we get started, I think it's important for me to discuss my relationship with breakfast so we get a good, you know, You know, I'm a huge fan of breakfast foods. I like the sausage, I like the egg, I like the cheese. Problem is, I don't like eating in the morning. Something about eating right after I wake up makes me feel gross. I don't know, I don't like it. The breakfast foods are delicious, so I'm really excited to try them. We have five different foods from five different companies, and they're gonna duke it out in a breakfast battle. Uh fight. It's early. <laughs> Let's see, who do we want to start with? Let's just go left to right here. First up, we are trying the Hot Pockets brand sandwiches, sausage, egg, and cheese with a low-fat mozzarella cheese and sauce in a Croissant crust. It looks scary. Ah! It looks pretty typical. Looks like a hot pocket. Um, I'm a fan of hot pockets. Specifically, I'm a fan of the lean pockets, pepperoni pizza. Those things were my jam for a little while. Man, do I love those lean pockets. Okay, so we're supposed to unwrap the sandwich, stick it in the sleeve, and cook it on high for about two minutes. And then that's it. It does, it does smell very breakfasty in here, um, which I'm a fan of. Also a really big fan of sausage, egg, and cheese. It's one of my favorite combinations. Big, 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 big fan. Big fan, huge. Giant fan. Big, 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 big fan. I still feel like half asleep. I need more. Okay. Let's uh, wait no longer. I hope I don't burn myself. It's still very, very hot. I can just feel it, right? It's like a campfire. I could gather around in the cold and keep my young warm around the Yule Tide hot pocket log. It's so drippy on the bottom. Uh, not into that. First bite was all crust. I caught a corner, which were usually my favorite parts. All crust. Problem is, the crust doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't taste like a croissant, it doesn't taste like bread. Uh, it tastes like nothing. So, kind of a bummer there. 
Okay. I really like that sausage. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, that's really tasty. The sausage is really the main star of this uh, meal. I feel like there's not quite as much uh, cheese or egg as I thought there would be. It's mostly sausage, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The more I eat it, the more I like it, honestly. Um, it's not gonna replace a homemade breakfast or even a, a fast food breakfast, but for a grab and go, I need something in the morning because I'm sprinting to my business meeting across town in the desert. Hot Pockets brand hot sandwiches, breakfast sandwich is a good option. Really, I think it's the spice and the sausage that makes it so good. It's, it's the flavor that lingers after you're done eating it. Uh, it's, it's really good, really good. I'm still only half awake, so I, I haven't trouble thinking up an, a rating system for this video, so I'm gonna be rating these breakfast foods once again by a emotion chart. Uh, today, specifically, I'm going to be using this emotions chart. I guess Hot Pockets sausage, egg, and cheese makes me feel surprised. I mean, like, maybe animate some the hot pockets going into my mouth. Uh, that's what it makes me feel like. But I give hot pockets, sausage, egg, and cheese the rating of surprised. So, uh, congratulations. <laughs> but we can't just trust me. It's only my show, so who cares what I have to say? Let's see what the internet thinks about these sandwiches. Most of these reviews are pretty positive, and I'm not surprised because it's pretty tasty. Big Boy says, bangers, five stars. Can eat them 24 seven, greatest things on earth. The consensus seems to be, it's great for a, a quick on the go breakfast snack and I tend to agree. Oh boy, okay. Um, well, next up we have Jimmy Dean pancakes and sausage on a stick. This is one of those things where I can't decide if this is an intriguing, cool idea or a horrible, terrifying idea. I'm not totally sure yet. It says it's pancake batter covering a sausage link, and Jimmy Dean does make some pretty good sausage links. My guess is that I'm not gonna like the pancake. My, My guess, guess is that the pancake is gonna be maybe soggy or weird texture or something. My, My guess, guess is that the pancake's gonna ruin it for me, uh, but let's see. Well, they come individually wrapped. Uh, the pancake's also pretty dark. I don't know, I guess I expected more of a blonde pancake situation that would brown up in the microwave, but maybe that's just too unrealistic of expectations. Okay, so we're gonna remove from wrapper and place on a plate microwave for 50 seconds. Looks very corny doggy. Okay, so I think I might have forgotten to turn this camera on when I was opening this. Uh, sorry. It's done now though, let's get it. Hmm. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what to make of this yet. The smell, the, uh, I'm gonna poke it. Uh, maybe I just spend the rest of the video making noises like that. Yeah! I almost feel like I should put some butter on it. It's pancakes, right? I almost feel like I should put some butter on it or dip it in syrup. Uh, but I'm just gonna try and plain first and we can go from there. It smells pretty good, but you can see the, the wrinkles on top 
here, uh, which makes me feel like it's gonna be kind of spongy and uh, not great. But let's, here we go. We're hot. Why don't I like that? I don't like it, but why, why not? I'm not sure. It's really sweet. <clears throat> it's really sweet. It almost feels like it has a layer of syrup already on it. It says that it's a fully cooked maple sausage link. So it's possible that it's the maple sausage link making it taste like it has syrup on it already. Would not recommend putting extra syrup on here. It's sweet enough as is. <laughs> I don't like it. I still can't put my tongue finger on what it is I don't like about it. I think it's a very mushy uh, pancake mixed with a very mushy sausage, and when you chew it a little bit, it just kind of feels like this sugary mush in your mouth. It kind of makes me a little nauseous, if I'm being honest. I guess the nausea could be related to me eating breakfast for the first time in a couple years, who knows but it almost kind of tastes like a funnel cakey. That's what it reminds me of, like a funnel cake fried fair food, which is not great to eat first thing in the morning. I don't know. It, it could have gone a lot worse, but I think it could have gone a lot better. Um, not my favorite, not my favorite. I really hate to say it, but on the feelings chart, it kind of seems like Jimmy Dean's pancakes and sausage on a stick makes me feel a little bit angry. That may be a, a strong word for what I'm feeling, but man, these, these kids aren't expressing their emotions as, as clear as they should. They all look exactly the same. What is the difference between these? Kids, come on. It looks like these have significantly higher ratings uh, than the Hot Pockets, which surprises me. Jeanette says that she would buy them again. A good way to take breakfast on the go and taste great. This review was collected as part of a promotion. Shannon1993 says that she loves it, but when she opened her box, there was a pancake sealed with only half in it really disappointed. It looks like someone just bit off the end and stuck it right back in there. Letha R says, mighty good JD pork sausage flap sticks. Uh, if, if you eat these regularly, you are now required to call them flap sticks. They were very good. I would buy them again. I hope you would get their stuff hash browns as well. This review was collected as part of a promotion. But well, kind of seems like my opinion differed from the opinions of the general public regarding the flap sticks. But like we always say on the show, I'm right. Don't listen to any of these idiots. Who cares what I have to say? All right, what do we have? No, no. I forgot I bought this. Banquet sausage and gravy deep dish. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that uh, we have a bit of a history with banquet meals. Uh, this one was just too strange looking to pass up. It is a breakfast pot pie. I am a big fan of pot pies, but the banquet label makes me extremely nervous. It does have a flaky crust made from scratch, which sounds promising. Hmm, is it just me or does that look a little bit sad? Does that look a little sad to you? Uh, I don't know. I guess it looks okay enough. I'm supposed to cut a slit in the top of it. Somehow. It's very, uh, frozen. Okay, well, hopefully that's good enough, I guess. How long? Four minutes? Well, I definitely smell the crust. Um, huh. 
I mean, it looks cooked. Here it is in all of its uh, pot pie glory. All I really smell is the crust. If you handed this to me, I would not know that it was a breakfast pot pie. I would just assume it was a really cheapo pot pie. Let's see here. Okay, well, I wanna get some of the crust too. Uh. Yum, yum. Smells a lot like a cheap sausage, cheap breakfast sausage, which always smells to me kind of like wet dog. It's fine. Honestly, the taste that's coming through strongest is the gravy, probably because there's just so much of it, uh, which doesn't surprise me because it's a banquet meal, so, you know, it's gonna be mostly gravy to cut down on the costs, I'm assuming. It tastes like nothing. The sausage is really not too bad. It's obviously not as good as the Hot Pockets sausage. I think I might actually prefer it to the Jimmy Dean sausage because it's not so sweet. I feel like if I sat down and ate this for breakfast though, I would probably just dig out all of the sausage and eat that because the gravy is not too impressive and the crust doesn't taste like anything. So uh, what's the point? You know, when you get really close up to it, it kind of looks like an alien planet or something. Okay, so final verdict on the banquet uh, sausage and gravy deep dish. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You know, banquet is, is turning out to be a real, you know, wild card. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's terrible. But it's better than I would expect from Banquet. That said, it's still not very good. Honestly, I think the gravy is what really brings it down for me. It's just really weak. I, you know, I don't mind if you're gonna overload it with gravy on the inside to cut costs. I mean, I mind, but it makes sense. But if you're gonna do that, you gotta have a good gravy. I guess if I were to sum up my feelings into one emotion on the chart, I would say the Banquish, Banquish? I would probably say that they make me feel empty. Just empty. Let's look for a second opinion. I swear every time I go shopping, I pick up a few so I can actually eat breakfast in the morning. Otherwise, I am not a breakfast person in the morning. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, one fourth, ah, ah, ee! Love these so much. Wish I could eat one every morning, lol. <laughs> I gotta admit, these reviews for these breakfast items are way higher than I expected. It really seems like the convenience of a quick breakfast makes up for the taste for a lot of people. This is a very quick breakfast. Not gonna say it's delicious, but it is pretty quick. <sighs> I should not have gotten five of these. I should have gotten three. I don't know what I was thinking, but I already said five, so I've committed. Let's get number four over with. It's great value, bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. This just looks scary. These uh, microwave sandwiches, I always try to avoid because they're never very good. Oh my God. I'm very picky about my breakfast sandwiches and I can already tell that uh, I'm probably not gonna have a fun time with this one. This just does not look fun. Um, uh, let's open it up. We can examine every part of this sandwich before we heat it up. <coughs> so this is what we're gonna be eating. Got the croissant over here. It looks fine. I mean, it looks like bread at least. The, is this bacon? Is this supposed to be bacon? The bacon, uh, it sure is a patty of some type of meat. It's very thin, uh, definitely not as robust a bacon as it could be. And then there's the egg and cheese. And I don't know, 
Is this making anyone else hungry? Because man oh man, do I want to eat this? Okay, it's actually supposed to be in the bag, so I gotta put all these pieces back, back in the bag. Microwave on 30% power for one minute, microwave on high for 40 seconds. That's a pain. Oh no. Uh, it's soggy at the bottom, okay. Well, here's our lovely breakfast. Um, get the... It's very soggy. Uh, it looks very soggy. It feels very soggy. It's just not a good situation over here right now. It's just, things are looking bleak. <laughs> Surprisingly, the smell that comes through the most out of all of this business is the bacon patty. So maybe that'll be good. I could, I could pull this out and only eat the bacon if I wanted to. Mm -mm. Oh no. Nope, it started out okay. It started out, I was a little bit impressed. Um, I mainly just tasted the bacon, which is a great flavor. But once the egg and the cheese caught up with me, no, no, just no. There's like a little bit of cheese hanging off on this side. Um, no more, thank you. Let's just try the bacon patty. Let's just, maybe if I just eat this. That is some really crappy bacon. This breakfast croissant is pretty much everything I hate in frozen breakfast, all at once. One of the things I hate most about it is the bag. When it has you cook it in the bag, what it does is it steams the sandwich. And I think they do that to melt the cheese, maybe. But what ends up happening is it makes the entire sandwich just soggy. I've got this thing about wet Bread. I don't want moist. I don't want damp bread. Don't make my bread soggy. I, it grosses me out. It makes me gag. I don't like it. So the bacon was at least bacon. It wasn't great, but I recognized it as bacon. And that's about as big of a compliment as I can give to it. It really seems like people are digging these breakfast items, so maybe people like the great value one as well. It's got four and a half stars, 181 reviews. What, do I, what am I missing here? Nini says they're Trez Bon. It was similar in flavor to the ones BK sells. Gimme girl. Says Omg, so good. Goodbye Burger King drive-thru, five stars. I've never had Burger King's breakfast sandwiches. I'm not a huge Burger King fan, uh, but a lot of the reviews are comparing it directly to Burger King's croissant breakfast sandwiches. So if you're a fan of those, maybe give these a try. A yummy tasty hoot, a party in your tummy. Hey, where did you get that flute? Uh, at the end of the day, I guess these breakfast sandwiches make me feel uh, enraged. This is just the worst emotion chart I think I've ever seen. You can't tell the difference between half of these uh, emotions. These aren't gonna help kids understand what they're feeling. Hopeless, disgusted, ashamed, jealous, depressed, exhausted. It's all the same feeling. It's all the exact same feeling, kids, don't worry. If your face looks like that, you're probably feeling all of these things at once. I will say that I'm feeling pretty ecstatic that we're finally on our last breakfast item. Okay, we are ending on a high note. We're eating a kolache, one of the best breakfast items on the planet. Nothing too exciting to see here. It's a roll with a sausage in it. All right, don't let me down, Kalachi. Don't let me down. Let's end on a high note here. 
It smells okay. I don't know that I'm gonna say that it smells great, but it smells okay. It's a roll with a sausage in it. Revolutionary, really. Um, can, can your, your brain, brain comprehend, comprehend it? it? Man, the plate is just wet, which I've expressed how I feel about wet breads, but maybe, maybe, um, Um, hmm. I am bummed. I'm sad, that bite made me sad. It has nothing to do with how it's assembled or prepared. I'm just not a fan of the sausage that they use. I don't know anything about Grey Day Foods. I don't know if they make sausage just regularly, but I'm just not into their choice of sausage for their sausage roll. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was edible. It was fine. Nothing wrong with it, really. I just wasn't into the sausage that they chose. It definitely did not remind me of the kind of sausage that I usually find in those sausage rolls. I expect the reviews to be pretty good on this one because the breakfast items that I absolutely hated people still seem to really enjoy, so people probably like this one as well. I can't even find these on the internet. I can find some similar sausage rolls, but they also have cheese in them. I'm having trouble finding... I can't find these on the internet. Uh, so it's very possible that these don't actually exist, um, but I don't have any other reviews for this one. So you guys just have to go on my opinion, which is meh, they're okay, eh. If I'm being honest, they kind of make me feel lonely, helpless, disgusted, ashamed, jealous, depressed, and exhausted. But now, it's time to find out how these breakfasts stack up against each other. To do that, I'll be stacking the boxes from worst breakfast all the way up to the best breakfast. There we have our, our uh, rating here with our champion on top. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was fun and my stomach hurts, so way to go. That's gonna be it uh, for the breakfast this morning. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in the AM today. Don't think I'm gonna be doing another morning filming video anytime soon. But it was pretty interesting. It was pretty nice. It, it did kind of feel like we woke up together uh, to eat some really crappy breakfast, and that's fun. If you're new here and you like what you saw, be sure to check out more of my Brutal Foods videos. There's a lot to watch, and there's more on the way. Uh, so thanks so much for supporting my content, you guys, and I will be back with another video really soon. Really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, but before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank the sponsors of this video, ExpressVPN. The internet is a scary place filled with snoops and hackers. So get protected by using ExpressVPN on your phone, laptop, or tablet. By using a VPN, you get privacy from entities that might track your internet browsing data, anonymity because your public IP address is masked, and security with encrypted internet data as you browse. I like to use ExpressVPN when I have to connect to a public Wi-Fi spot. Uh, like most things in life, public Wi-Fi is really scary, but ExpressVPN makes me feel safe. It makes me feel so safe, it's like I'm locked in a safe and nobody can see what I'm doing and hackers can't even get to me because that safe is actually inside another safe. It's got the fastest speeds, it's got apps for every device, 24 seven customer support, and it's so easy, even I can do it. You connect with just one click. Take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box or visit expressvpn.com slash brutalmoose. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash brutalmoose for three months free with a one year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash brutalmoose to learn more. Take back your internet privacy today.